everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 29 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind. So, some guy contacts them through the computer saying, hey, I know how to defeat King Grimson and the boss. You want to know how? Meet me at the Rome Coliseum. And it has to involve the, uh, the arrow, and I'm just like, and we learned a little bit about that arrow, actually. It's from this virus meteorite thing that got turned into an arrow, and it's like, well, you either die when you get hit or infected with it, well, you get a stand. All right. I'm just like, well, that's how that works. That's, yeah, it's just like, well, all right then. <laughs> and just that little scene with, like, you know, the arrow, and then, like, you see the little stand users, like, pop in, like, saw Kakuin and Jotaro and everything. I thought that was really cool. I was like, ah, oh, I like that. That's really cool. But anyway, uh, yikes, though. This new, um, person that uh, I forgot, it's like, Ch Choco, I don't know what his name is. I'm just like, this dude... I don't like this dude. This dude is a bad dude. Like, he has killed several people because he enjoys it. Because it makes him feel alive and feels, you know, on top of the world and everything. Because killing people just makes him feel that way. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> He's killed elderly people. He was a doctor who killed patients. And I'm just like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> but anyway, so his stand is called... Well, the subs were green tea, and honestly, I couldn't tell exactly what he said it was, so I really don't know what the actual- He said green something, I think, but I couldn't really tell, so I'm just like, okay, that's an interesting name, green tea, I know that's not the real name, but as far as subs go, I'm just like, well then, that exists, but- Giorno and everyone, you know, when they get to Rome, they have the mold stuff coming out of them, and I'm just like, well- Got to deal with this guy now, and that's going to be interesting how they go about doing this. And I just, I want to know, first of all, who's the dude behind the screen talking to them and everything. I'm just like, hello? <laughs> uh, who you be? That voice doesn't sound familiar at all, but it also maybe kind of did. I'm not 100% sure, like, if that, I have no idea. I'm just like, I have no idea, but we'll have to see how it goes and everything. But as far as this episode goes, you know, it was great. Dopio is on his way to Rome as well because he doesn't want the other guys um, to find out other stuff that Trish knows. He doesn't want them to know and stuff like that. I'm just like, well, all right. Yet you enlisted them to help you, which is interesting because he, you know, I like how he called, you know, the guy like the scum of the earth, like piece of shit and everything. I'm like, yeah, you're right. He's a bad doctor. He's a bad person. When he was 14, he was killing people. I'm just like, what? <laughs> oh, man. But, uh. Yikes, though, it's just, I don't know how they're going to deal with this green tea stand. I just, I, again, I don't, someone tell me what the actual name of the stand is because I really could not tell with, like, what he said. Like, I always try to go off what they say, but I couldn't tell what he said. I'm just like, huh? What'd you say? I don't know. Whatever. Here we are. Also, he has some, like, subordinate working for him who was a previous patient. And I'm just like, huh? You probably tried to kill this guy and he's working for you? Like... What? I think his name is Seko or something like that? I don't know. I'm just like, well, that exists. So, that's pretty much all my thoughts on this episode. What do you guys think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen next? And I'll see you guys in one of our Let's Play video I do next is. Alright? Bye!